Most people know what mausoleums look like on the outside. But very few know what they look like on the inside. Good job. You got it. Look at that. Now, very nice, really. This video gives you an intimate view inside walk-in mausoleums. You'll see inside the different types of mausoleums and burial chambers with family crypts and stained glass windows. You'll see inside their design, inside their history, inside how they are built and installed, inside how they're priced, and inside an actual mausoleum construction facility. Mausoleums are above-ground burial structures that hold the caskets or cremated remains of the deceased in a burial chamber with either a mausoleum family crypt for the remains of just one family or in small niches that hold cremated remains. A mausoleum tomb is a decorative stone or granite structure for the body or bodies of the deceased. Mausoleums come in every shape, size, color, style, and type. I visited some cemeteries in Northeast Ohio that had mausoleums, most built in the early to mid-1900s, and I looked inside to see the different designs, configurations, and accessories. This classical style mausoleum has a bronze door that is now patinaed, and inside are beautiful marble walls, a statue of a cross with a stained glass window behind it, what looks like a book stand or something with a cover, at least 12 crypts for the caskets of the deceased, brass handles and nameplates on the crypt covers, and a tiled floor. Here's an Art Deco style mausoleum, and inside there's a stained glass window, what looks like a vase or vases, or they could be urns for ashes, and it has eight crypts with brass nameplates. Very nice. Here's a mausoleum with statues of a lion and lioness in front and walls made out of stone. Inside is a burial chamber or a space that holds crypts or niches. It has crypts on both sides and it has a tomb for three caskets. A stained glass window is at the back and crypts on both sides. Okay, now let's look at a mausoleum with both crypts and niches. These niches are smaller than crypts and hold the cremated remains of family members, usually in urns. The larger crypts are on both sides. Here's another Art Deco style mausoleum. With a religious theme, stained glass window, six crypts and a spacious vestibule at the entrance to hold visitors. And this, I believe, is an Egyptian style mausoleum with glass block windows and two banks of crypts on each side. Rome Monument built this three crypt walk-in mausoleum for a family in Cleveland, Ohio. It has a classical style architecture with a bronze door that opens to a space for visitors called a vestibule with lots of natural light thanks to three stained glass windows. Two small ones on the side and one larger one in back. Stained glass windows have been a staple of churches and mausoleums for centuries, but it was Louis Comfort Tiffany who advanced the art of stained glass making in the late 19th and early 20th centuries by creating an extra layer of richness and color to these remarkable windows. Mausoleum floor plans and blueprints show the design and layout of a mausoleum and help in its planning, visualization, and construction. Blueprints show you everything you need to know about the mausoleum that is being built for you. You'll notice that very few mausoleums have the same blueprint and floor plan. That's because different families have different style preferences and needs. Some like this one hold just one body in one crypt. These private family mausoleums have multiple crypts for multiple family members. And this one has over a dozen crypts to hold several generations of family. Most mausoleum designs are based on popular styles from the past. Classical style mausoleums are based on government buildings and temples of ancient Greece and Rome. Romanesque style mausoleums are based on the styles of European churches during the Middle Ages. Gothic-style mausoleums resemble cathedrals built in Europe from the 12th to the 16th centuries. 
Baroque-style mausoleums borrow elements from European palaces and churches of the 16 to the 1800s. Asian-style mausoleum architecture is similar to that found in pagodas. Egyptian-style mausoleums borrow elements from ancient Egyptian architecture. Islamic-style mausoleums resemble Islamic mosques and palaces. Of course, mausoleum designs can be based on modern architectural styles as well. You can decorate your walk-in mausoleum interior with benches and a seating area, different types of lighting, murals, an altar and pews, artwork for the walls, flowers, candles, a bust of a family member, a statue of a religious figure, shelving with memorabilia and family keepsakes, and really whatever you want in your mausoleum. I also visited the Garfield Memorial in Cleveland, Ohio, where James A. Garfield is buried. Built in 1890, it was funded entirely through private donations. A 12-foot marble statue of President Garfield greets you inside the entrance. The interior features stained glass windows with historic depictions. On the massive dome are a series of mosaics. Around the balcony are five terracotta panels depicting Garfield's life and death. The caskets of the president and his wife lie in crypts beneath the memorial, along with the ashes of their daughter and son-in-law. Other famous walk-in mausoleums around the world include the Taj Mahal in India, built by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan for his beloved wife, who died in 1631. The mausoleum of the first Qin Emperor was constructed in the 3rd century BCE and has its own terracotta army to protect the emperor in the afterlife. The Giza pyramids in Egypt are the largest of the ancient Egyptian pyramids and serve as the tomb of three pharaohs. The Westminster Abbey in London is where many British dignitaries are buried. Of course, we would never have had mausoleums, or at least the word mausoleum, without a magnificent tomb built in the 4th century BCE for King Mausolus, ruler of a region that is now part of Turkey. Referred to as the Mausoleum at Halicarnassus, it was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. In America, the early 19th century saw the creation of cities of the dead in New Orleans, with mausoleums to keep bodies safe above ground and away from the high water table and floods. Prominent politicians also had mausoleums built for them at the beginning of the 19th century. The Alexander Hamilton Mausoleum in New York City was built in 1804. The President John Quincy Adams Crypt in Quincy, Massachusetts was built in 1828. Washington's tomb was erected at his Mount Vernon home in 1831. In the 1860s, following the Civil War, America needed more burial space, and more cemeteries were created with headstones and mausoleums to honor the fallen heroes. While still too costly for the general population, elaborate mausoleums were constructed for our Civil War and post-war time presidents, including the Lincoln Memorial in Springfield, Illinois, Grant's Tomb in New York City, the Garfield Monument in Cleveland, Ohio, and the McKinley National Memorial in Canton, Ohio. The late 1800s also saw the creation of a small class of wealthy and influential families who could afford to build and maintain their own private mausoleums. Lavish mausoleums were built by John D. Rockefeller, founder of Standard Oil, the Cornelius Vanderbilt family, who built a shipping and railroad empire, J.P. Morgan, prominent banker, and Jay Gould, railroad magnate and financial speculator. It wasn't until the mid-20th century that mausoleums finally became truly affordable for the general public. Public, or community mausoleums, offered crypts and niches for multiple families at a cheaper cost. Mausoleums are different from crypts which are smaller spaces within a mausoleum or another structure that can hold one casket or urn. Columbaria, structures with niches that hold the urns or cremated remains of the deceased, were built inside mausoleums, in or on church grounds, or as a standalone building. Garden or burial walls held the caskets or urns of the deceased in crypts or niches. 
New technologies and materials, such as reinforced concrete, reduce the cost and increase the durability of private mausoleum construction. Private family mausoleums are freestanding monuments for the casket or caskets of an individual or family. Mausoleums became more desirable with improved ventilation systems that circulated fresh air and removed stale air, odors, and humidity. Deodorizers mask the odor, and new sealants help prevent any gas or fluid leakage from the remains. Today's 21st century mausoleums are designed to reduce the environmental impact of burials with renewable and recycled materials, solar panels, rainwater harvesting, and habitats for wildlife and plants. They use the latest technologies such as digital media displays, and they integrate biometric data to design specifically for the individual being interred. In addition to holding caskets and coffins with the bodies of the deceased, mausoleums can hold ashes, urns, and cremated remains. Many people prefer an above-ground mausoleum over a below-ground grave. Mausoleums keep families together in one convenient location, generation after generation. Purchase a mausoleum now, and future generations won't have to worry about finding their own burial plot or buying a headstone. With a mausoleum, you can have as many crypts and urns as you need. With walk-in mausoleums, families can visit any time of year, rain or snow. The bigger size and taller height make a mausoleum stand out in a cemetery. Mausoleums are eco-friendly. One family mausoleum plot generally requires less of a footprint than a grouping of family grave sites. In areas with high rainfall or high water tables, a mausoleum keeps the crypt safe and dry. Mausoleums create a peaceful space for prayer, meditation, and remembrance. Inside a walk-in mausoleum, you have room to display personal art and artifacts to tell the stories of your family members' lives. A mausoleum says you've made significant contributions in your life and to your family. The majestic mausoleum is an expression of majestic love. When the cost of a mausoleum is shared among all the family members, your cost becomes a fraction of the total cost and may even cost less than a gravesite and headstone. Finally, some people simply don't like the thought of being buried in the ground, covered with dirt and weeds and whatnot. Of course, mausoleums can also have their downside. A private family mausoleum generally costs more than an underground burial. Some cemeteries don't have enough space or resources to build or maintain a mausoleum. A mausoleum is subject to laws, regulations, permits, and codes that can limit its design and use. A poorly constructed mausoleum can have unpleasant odor from the decomposition of the remains. This walk-in mausoleum was designed by Rome Monument in collaboration with our client. All the modules and components were built at Rome's construction facility and fully assembled there as well. Larger mausoleums are assembled at the cemetery plot. The mausoleum was shipped to the cemetery by a lowboy truck. A 75-ton crane truck hoisted the 26-ton mausoleum onto its foundation. It was lowered onto cubes of dry ice to cushion its placement and prevent breakage. As the dry ice melts, the mausoleum slowly lowers onto the concrete and the joint between the mausoleum and the foundation is sealed and waterproofed. Now the protective cover is removed. The crypt doors are carried into the mausoleum to cover the crypt openings. Bronze handles are attached to the mausoleum crypt doors, and the crew waits for the dry ice to melt. The security lock is opened with the owner's private key. Then the granite steps are placed in front of the door, and the landscaping begins. Small hardy trees were placed on each side of the mausoleum, and smaller bushes were placed in back along with decorative rock mulch and garden borders. A path was added, a granite bench placed in back, and the grass was planted. This large mausoleum was also built at Rome's facility in modules, 
which were shipped in separate pieces to a cemetery in Pittsburgh and assembled right on the spot at the gravesite. The cost of being put in a mausoleum depends on many factors, including the mausoleum type, size, style, shape, design, ornamentation, the number of crypts, and the materials used in the construction. Private single crypt burial vaults, which hold just one body, start at about $17,000. The price goes up five dollars to $10,000 for each additional crypt. Garden or outdoor mausoleum prices start at about $200,000. A non-walk-in mausoleum building starts at about $180,000. The starting price for a small private walk-in mausoleum is about $90,000. A large private family walk-in mausoleum can cost anywhere from $350,000 to more than $3 million. Lots of companies sell mausoleums, but only a select few actually design and build mausoleums. One such company is Rome Monuments, a nationwide designer, builder, and installer of high-quality cemetery monuments and mausoleums. Rome is a family-owned company now in its fourth generation. When they design a mausoleum for you, you get to choose the materials, including the granite from the most reputable quarries in the United States, Canada, and around the world. Every color, pattern, and texture to choose from. Our stone quarry warehouse is one of the largest in America. And this is where Rome Monument builds your mausoleum. It's called the Rome Works Artisan Center. Right here, hundreds of headstones and mausoleums are designed and constructed each year, each one of the highest quality, using the highest quality materials and craftsmanship. When it's complete, we either store your mausoleum in the warehouse for future assembly at the cemetery, or deliver it to your cemetery anywhere in the continental United States. Walk-in mausoleums are a truly special way to honor the memory of your loved ones. If you or your family are interested in purchasing a mausoleum, Rome Monument has prestigious mausoleums for sale in the U.S., custom designed for your family and your family alone. To learn more, get a quote, or order your walk-in mausoleum, talk to a mausoleum professional at Rome Monument. Just call 724-770-0100 or email info at romemonuments.com. Thanks for watching.